Hello and welcome back to your 3ds Max tutorials. So our previous tutorial we were introduced to Mass Effects and I strongly recommend you having some fun with that and playing around with, uh, with, that's cap with its capabilities. In this tutorial we're going to use the Claude modifier, <coughs> excuse me, using the Claude modifier from our modifier rollout and we're going to create a cushion, a couch cushion that's inflated from the inside. <coughs> so Let's get cracking. We're going to start off and just let's just draw in a ground plane. And that's a horrible color. Let's make it a something a little bit more subtle. Let's take off the ground grid. And let's draw in a box. Something like so. And we can move that box up a little bit. And let's give this box some geometry to work off. So let's give it two two segments in the width and let's give it 10 each side that should be plenty okay so let's drop that down convert it to an, edit an editable poly and let's go to our clock modifier and let me introduce you to what we have here so first things first I'm going to go into the object properties and for now um, I'm just gonna well we could do it all now actually I'm just going to go into the box. I'm going to add an object actually first. And I'm going to add this plane. I can double click on it or I can click on add. Now, so this time, these are all the, all the elements that we're going to use throughout this tutorial. So we have a box. By default, it's set to inactive. We want this box to be a cloth. So I'm going to set the cloth and then I'm going to pick one of the presets that we have here. You can load, you can save your own presets and load them again. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to work with some of the presets that we have here because they work just fine. So I'm going to use a nice soft material. So I'm going to choose silk. And as you can see, the presets have changed. So if I go to flannel, they're changed once more. So we're just going to stick with silk. So if we look down below here, we can, um, we can deal with the pressure. So again, this is the gas or the inflation that occurs from the inside out. So I'm just going to set this to 2 for now and I'm going to set the plane by default it's on inactive again so I'm going to set that to collision object and um, that's fine okay but we don't we don't want this to collide just yet so I'm going to go down here to the simulation parameters and as you can see by default the gravity is set to minus 980 or negative 980 so I'm just going to set that to zero and the centimeters per unit I'm just going to leave that I'm going to set it at three yeah three for now should be fine and let's just simulate that and see how that runs okay so that looks pretty good I think it could do with some more air maybe might just give it a, a little boost I'm going to erase that simulation back into object properties Select the box and I'm going to double the pressure and simulate that once more. And I think that looks a little bit better. Okay. So now what we can do is we can right click and we can convert it to an editable poly. And now we can select the edge selection. We can pick one of our edges and on the just below the selection set we can pick on we can choose loop and what that does is that will just loop all of the segments around that full uh, that full perimeter and we can go then and use a simple extrude and we can just pick the pick the line that's highlighted and we can drag it up or we can drag it down i just want a very slight little uh, little crease that will do I suppose right click to cancel and unselect that and then what we can do is we can go to a modifier list and we can add a turbo smooth and that looks pretty good it almost gives the effect of, of a crease and uh, maybe maybe a little bit more I'll turn off this the turbo smooth back into editable poly and back into extrude that line is still highlighted so I'm going to extrude it 
Maybe a little deeper. Not that deep, that loop. Right click to cancel once more, turn on the turbo smooth. And okay, that, that shadow line is a little bit a little bit better. Okay, that's great. So as before, when we dealt with our collision object from Mass Effects, we're going to go back in and we're going to give this another cloth modifier. Go into our object properties, select the box, cloth, presets, down to silk. I'm going to give it a pressure again of four, actually we'll give it five this time. And now add objects. Add the plane. And you can see, although the plane is highlighted, it's still uh, it's still working from the previous um, the previous command. So I'm going to click on the plane. It's on inactive. We don't want that. We want this to be our collision object. We press OK. We're going to put this up to three our centimeters per unit. And the gravity then we will set to negative two hundred. If you remember, by default, it's set to minus nine hundred and eighty. And that's a little bit much. I don't want it to hit hit the plane uh, with too much force. So let's just see how this goes at negative 200. And let's simulate that. You can see it's dropping down nice and slowly. And we're getting some lovely creases in there. And let it run all the way through, I suppose. It's nearly there. Okay, I'm just going to go to that entire viewport. And I'm just going to play that animation so you can see pretty clearly what's happening. So you can see the air is having an effect. It's, it's pushing it back out again. Even as it hits the ground, it's almost inflating back up again. So it's taking the physics into account and the geometry. And that's what's giving us our end result. So I'm going to bring that back once more. And... Let me see how this works. I'm going to move this object up. I'm actually going to copy him. Copy him down a touch. As a copy, not a reference. And I'll rotate him. And drag him out a little bit more. I'm going to move him up. Okay. So I'm going to go back into the cloth. Object properties, I'm going to add an object, this is box 2, and we're going to use uh, box 2 as another collision object, and we'll see an additional effect as the top cushion hits off the bottom cushion. So let's simulate that. Sorry, I need to erase the simulation. Now, here we go. So it should bounce off the cushion, slide down. Very nice. So you can see the gravity really has, has an effect on this. And what I might just do is erase that simulation once more and up the gravity to minus 400. And I'm going to move this cushion ever so slightly out. And let's see how this one works. So back in again. Simulate. No, it doesn't like that. I'm going to erase that simulation, maybe move the cushion back a little bit more. And let's simulate that once more. Now, for some reason, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to erase that simulation one more time. And maybe it's actually the gravity might be a little bit too much. I'm going to try it without the cushion. See how it how it reacts with the ground plane. Whoa! So it really squashes it right down. The gravity is really taking its toll on this particular piece. We're going to cancel that. But the good thing is we can scrub along this animation slider, and we can uh, we can pick our our cushion at the desired location. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tut that tutorial, and we'll pick it up in the next tutorial.